So having cashback credit cards with no annual fees could be the perfect wallet setup if you like to keep things simple, but you still wanna get signup bonuses of up to $200 and three to 5% back on everything you buy. Now the problem is there's literally hundreds of cashback credit cards out there, so it can be really hard to choose which ones you should get. And if you try to choose by searching Google, you might actually find some bad suggestions from websites that just promote cards that pay them the highest commissions. So I did all the research for you, and in this video, I wanna make it quick and easy to find the right fit by going over what I think are the 10 best credit cards to earn the most cash back and cost you literally nothing to hold. Now let's jump right into it with the first card that just got updated and a whole lot better recently, and I think might be the best all around cash back card on this list, and that is the Amex Blue Cash Every Day. So this American Express credit card has a new design and some new features and benefits, but the card is gonna give you a $200 signup bonus in the form of a statement credit after you spend $2,000 in the first six months. Then on top of that, this can become one of your go-to cards because it's gonna give you 3% back on groceries, 3% back on US online retail purchases, 3% back on gas at US gas stations, and then 1% back on all other purchases. Now I'm gonna organize all the credit cards on this list into this chart to show you the top cards in the most common spending categories. So that way later on in this video, you can pick the best cards for you. But for me, getting 3% back on groceries, online shopping, and gas is extremely valuable and makes this card kind of tough to beat with no annual fee. Now there are two small downsides that I wanted to mention on the blue cash every day. So first you're earning cash back as a statement credit to basically cancel out part of your balance on this card. And second is that you're limited to earning 3% back on groceries, online shopping, and gas on only up to $6,000 of spending per category per year. But that's worth potentially up to $180 of cash back for groceries, $180 for online shopping, and $180 for gas if you maxed out each category every year. And then you just go down from 3% down to 1% back if you reach that 6K limit in each category. Now those two things really aren't that big of a deal because you still get a ton of value, but they're just something to consider. There's also gonna be two credits available on the Amex Blue Cash every day. So first you've got a streaming credit with the Disney bundle where if you enroll first and then spend $13.99 or more each month on this bundle that includes access to Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, then you'll get back $7 each month. You'll also get up to $180 back per year with Home Chef, which is split up into max $15 statement credits each month on purchases made from Home Chef, which offers meal delivery services. Also, I like to mention foreign transaction fees for all these cards in case you wanna use them outside the US. So there is going to be a 2.7% foreign transaction fee on the Blue Cash every day, so not a good option for that. Now next, for credit card number two in this list, this is one that I know I've mentioned a ton on this channel before because it's still one of my personal favorites, and that is the Chase Freedom Flex. So the Chase Freedom Flex comes with a $200 signup bonus after spending just 500 bucks in the first three months, so that's much less of a minimum spend required for the same bonus compared to that Blue Cash Everyday card that we just talked about. But on top of that, Chase also likes to offer these different limited time bonuses that vary throughout the year. So right now, Chase just switched up the offer from 5% back on gas for your first year to 5% back on groceries for your first year on up to $12,000 of spending for a possible 600 bucks of extra cash back. Now that 5% first year grocery offer is exactly what I got when I signed up for this card about one year ago. But again, these offers are only available for a limited time. So if you're watching this video months or years into the future, then this kind of offer might be gone or changed to something else. Now, in addition to a great signup bonus, the Freedom Flex is a useful card because it earns 5% back in rotating quarterly categories that change up every three months. And these categories are very good and they cover things like grocery stores, Amazon, gas stations, Walmart, PayPal purchases, and a few others. Now, the one downside to those 5% categories is that you're limited to getting 5% back on only up to $1,500 of spending per quarter before it drops back down to 1% back. So that's a maximum of 75 bucks of cash back per quarter or potentially $300 of cash back per year, which is still really good if you manage to spend a lot in those categories. Now, additionally, the Chase Freedom Flex also gets 5% back on travel book through Chase, 3% back on dining at restaurants, including takeout and eligible delivery services, 3% back at drug stores, and 1% back on all other purchases. And there's also some other good partner benefits that change from time to time that you can look into if you're interested. But currently those benefits are related to brands like DoorDash, Lyft, and Instacart. Now there is a 3% foreign transaction fee. So the Freedom Flex is another card that's not a great option to use outside the US. And I also wanna mention that all this cash back you're earning on this credit card is earned in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards points, which can then be converted into cash back in many ways. But if you wanna step up a level in the credit card game, you can actually combine these Chase points with a premium card like the $95 per year Chase Sapphire Preferred. And with that, you can get even more value for travel compared to getting cash back. But that's something I've covered in much more detail in some other videos that I have here on my channel that I'll link to down below. And also while I'm mentioning my other content down below, make sure you go ahead and tap the like button as well. But more importantly, go subscribe because it's completely free and around 86% of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed yet, but it helps me out a ton if you do. 
do. So thank you for doing that. Then next for credit card number three on this list for another 5% back, no annual fee card that gives you the most options for earning 5% back. We have the city custom cash. So first of all, the city custom cash currently offers a $200 sign up bonus after spending $1,500 in the first six months. And the way this credit card works is that it'll earn 5% back on up to $500 of spending each billing cycle on whatever your highest eligible spend category is across one of 10 possible categories before going back down to 1%. And then the custom cash also earns a flat 1% back on all other purchases outside your highest spend category. Now, currently the areas of spending where you can get 5% back are going to be restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, select transit, select streaming services, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, and live entertainment. So the best way that I like to tell people to use this card is just to see when your billing cycle starts and ends. And then for each one of those billing cycles that runs for about a month, just pick one of those 10 categories and only use the custom cash card for that. Doing this will basically allow you to lock in getting 5% back on some pretty useful things like gas, groceries, or restaurants. So when I apply and get this card next month, eventually it'll be my go-to gas card for getting 5% back on gas. And then I'll just use my other credit cards to earn more in some other categories. Now, kind of like the Freedom Flex, the City Custom Cash is earning cash back in the form of City Thank You Points. And those Thank You Points can easily be converted into cash back in many forms. Or if you hold any other City credit cards that also earn Thank You Points, like the City Premier, then you could combine these points and find ways to get more value for travel too. Then lastly, there is going to be a 3% foreign transaction fee on the Custom Cash card as well. So I'd stick to using it within the US. All right, moving on to credit card number four, we're gonna stick with that theme of getting 5% back and talk about a spending category dedicated to an entire massive company. And that card is the Amazon Prime Visa Rewards card. So there's a few different Amazon credit cards out there, but this one from Chase has the best value and is really designed for the millions of people that are Amazon Prime members. Now the standard signup bonus for the Amazon Prime Visa card is a $100 Amazon gift card that's instantly loaded into your Amazon account when you get approved. So there's actually no minimum spend required, which is pretty cool. But the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa is really simple. So it gets 5% back on Amazon and 5% back at Whole Foods, which of course is owned by Amazon. Plus you get 2% back at restaurants, gas stations, and drug stores, and then 1% back on all other purchases. So this is not a typical store credit card that can only be used at Amazon because you can use it everywhere. Now for any cash back you earn, you're gonna see it accumulate in your rewards balance as points, which can be redeemed for cash back in many different ways. And even though there's no annual fee on this card specifically, Amazon Prime still costs $139 per year right now. So you can almost look at that as the annual fee, but I personally have Prime and so do most people nowadays. So I think this card is worth it to have if you are a Prime member. Now, if you don't have Amazon Prime, there's also a lower tier version of this card that's just called the Amazon Rewards Visa. And this version gets 3% back at Amazon and Whole Foods, along with 2% back at restaurants, gas stations, and drug stores. So that's a solid option to have if you don't really wanna pay for Prime, but you still shop at Amazon and Whole Foods a lot. And then for the foreign transaction fees on both the Prime and non-Prime versions of this Visa card, there's actually gonna be none. So that makes this a solid option to use outside the US if you don't have any other credit cards that also have no foreign transaction fees. Then next for credit card number five, we have one that could become your go-to dining credit card if you want to avoid annual fees. And it's a card that doesn't get talked about that much. And that is the US Bank Outs to Go. Now for US Bank, what I've read is that they can be a little strict with approvals based on how many new credit cards you've opened within the last six to 12 months. So if you've got a lot of new accounts, then you might not get approved even with a good credit score. But being an existing US Bank customer with checking accounts or other credit cards seems to help with approval odds. So just do your own research and read up on some data points on Reddit before you apply. But let me explain why this could be a good fit for your wallet. Now the Altitude Go card currently offers a 20,000 point signup bonus, which can be redeemed for $200 of cash back after spending $1,000 in the first 90 days. But the big reason I wanted to talk about this card in this video is for the Forex points it earns on dining, takeout, and delivery, which converts to 4% cash back. Some other cash back cards on this list offer 3% back on dining as a set spending category, but 4% back on dining with no annual fees is kind of hard to come by, as you can see when we compare this card to some of the others we've talked about so far in this video. To put it in perspective, the Amex Gold card is what I use at restaurants because it also gets 4X back on dining, but the Amex Gold has a $250 annual fee. Now there are some credits on the Gold card that help to offset that fee, but if you don't want to pay anything out of pocket at all for a credit card and you like to go out to eat, then the Altitude Go could be perfect for you. It also gets 2X back at grocery stores, grocery delivery, streaming services, gas stations, and EV charging stations, and then 1X back on all other purchases. Plus there's a nice little bonus credit where if you put certain streaming purchases on this card for 11 months, you're gonna get a $15 streaming credit back to your account every year. There's also no foreign transaction fees on this Visa card as well. So if you're going to be traveling to other countries and you wanna dine out at restaurants there, then having a 4% back Visa card like this is the way to go because of how widely Visa is accepted. But all right, let's jump over now 
out to credit card number six, which I think is a card that everyone can benefit from having, especially very early on in your credit journey, since it's pretty easy to get approved for. And that is going to be the Discover It cashback card. So the Discover It is going to be kind of similar to the Chase Freedom Flex, since it also gets 5% cashback and rotating quarterly categories on up to $1,500 of spending per quarter before going down to 1% back. And the categories don't line up to be exactly the same as the Freedom Flex, but they still include a lot of the same great everyday areas of spending, like grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, and even Amazon. You also get 1% back on all other purchases, but the really cool feature is the unique welcome bonus opportunity you have, because at the end of your first year with this credit card, Discover is gonna match you dollar for dollar for any cashback you earn with no limit to that match. Basically, that means for the first year that you have the Discover It, your cashback rate is going to be doubled, so 5% back in those rotating categories becomes 10% back, and 1% back on everything else becomes 2% back. Now, the Discover It also has no foreign transaction fees, so you can use it outside the US and not pay anything extra, but Discover isn't as widely accepted depending on where you are, so just be aware of that. Then for credit card number seven, we're gonna go over to Capital One for what I think is their best no annual fee cashback credit card, and that is the Capital One Saver One. So this card currently has a sign-up bonus of $200 after spending $500 in the first three months, which is great, but then for the cashback categories, you're getting unlimited 3% back on all spending for dining, entertainment, popular streaming services, and grocery stores, plus 1% back on all other purchases. You also now get 5% back when you book through Capital One Travel for hotels and car rentals, but not on flights. However, if we take a look at this updated chart now, you can see that this card offers some solid value on everyday spending. And I really like that streaming is 3% back on this card because it looks like most streaming services are covered under this, except for a few like Prime Video and some audiobook services like Audible. You've also got no foreign transaction fees, and this is going to be a MasterCard. So another good option for getting 3% back on dining and even entertainment when you're out traveling outside the US. Now for these last credit cards on this list, I wanna talk about cards that serve the purpose of being a catch-all card for miscellaneous purchases that don't fall under an exact spending category that earns three to 5% back. So for a credit card like this, you wanna be earning at least one and a half to 2% back along with some sort of a welcome bonus if you can. And I've got three credit cards that I like the best for this. Now you can't go wrong with any of these three, so it really all depends on you and your situation. And there's plenty of other options out there as well. But the first card is going to be number eight on this list, and that is the City Double Cash. And this is a really popular card that a lot of people enjoy for its unlimited 2% back on everything. You get 1% back when you buy something and then another 1% back when you pay it off. And like the City Custom Cash we talked about earlier in this video, the Double Cash is earning in the form of City Thank You Points, which you can combine with other City cards, or you can just redeem them for cash back really easily in a bunch of different ways. Now, currently, as I'm filming this video, there is a limited time sign-up bonus offer for $200 after spending $1,500 in the first six months. But a bonus like this has been rare and was one of the main negatives that I had that really caused me not to like this card as much as some other similar cards out there. So if you can get a sign-up bonus on the double cash, then great. But if you can't, then it's still a good card for simple 2% back on everything. And I would not use it outside the US because there is a 3% foreign transaction fee. And then credit card number nine on this list also focuses on 2% cash back on everything as well. Plus this card does come with a consistent sign-up bonus. So that is the Wells Fargo Active Cash. Now I'm not the biggest Wells Fargo fan because of their history and the fact that they don't really offer that much value from their credit card lineup, but they are trying to improve. And I do think the Active Cash is a solid card. It has a $200 sign-up bonus after spending $1,000 in the first three months. And then it gets unlimited 2% back on everything. It also has a nice $600 cell phone protection benefit against damage or theft if you pay your phone bill with this card. So that's a nice extra feature we haven't seen that much on too many other no annual fee credit cards. Now the Act of Cash does have a 3% foreign transaction fee, but yeah, it's really simple as a catch all card if you wanna to try to avoid annual fees and earn a flat 2% back on everything. Now my personal choice for a catch all card that I use and I wanted to include on this list, even though it might not be right for every single person, since it earns 1.5% back on everything, is going to be the Chase Freedom Unlimited. So instead of 2% back, the Freedom Unlimited earns 1.5% back on all purchases. But like the Freedom Flex, this card also also earns in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards Points. And when we have a Chase Trifecta setup going on with these two Freedom cards and the $95 per year Chase Sapphire Preferred that I mentioned earlier, those points can become twice as valuable or more for travel redemptions compared to cashback redemptions. So basically, without getting into the details too much, 1.5% back on everything becomes worth 3% back on everything when I take my Chase points that I earn on my Freedom Unlimited, and then I combine them with my Sapphire Preferred card to redeem them for travel. Again, this is not for everyone because you might only want a no annual fee cashback setup, which is why I decided to talk about this last year, but also consider that the Freedom Unlimited usually has the same really good welcome bonus offer as the Freedom Flex. So that means a $200 bonus after spending 500 bucks in three months, plus 5% back on grocery store purchases for your first year, up to $12,000 of spending, which is worth up to an extra $600. So 
$500 is possible for this signup bonus, which is just unheard of in terms of value. Now, again, this is a limited time offer and may not be available or may have changed by the time you're watching this. But overall, Chase seems to be the most generous with their welcome bonus offers, which makes the Freedom Unlimited a no annual fee card that you at least have to consider, even though the cashback rate is only 1.5% back on everything. Also, outside of that, it's pretty much the exact same card as the Freedom Flex with 5% back on Chase Travel and 3% back on dining and drugstores as we take one final look at this credit card comparison chart. So hopefully this view can help you decide which cards to get in these different categories, which cards to get with the rotating or flexible categories, and then just add one of those catch-all cards we talked about at the end to find your perfect no annual fee cashback credit card setup. Now you're gonna need a good credit score to qualify for any one of these 10 credit cards. So go check out this video over here next to find out how to increase your score easily up to 750 or even 800 and above. But also make sure you don't get denied for any other reason when you apply by checking out this video over here for a guide to getting approved for any credit card. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.